candidate in the last election. She was all right in the last election, but not all right. Well, we would have won the Senate. No, they wouldn't, it because they, 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 they had two states where they had problems, and they still lost the Senate by six votes. Some people are just like that. They didn't like women, and they don't like women, but the, and the, here's the problem is, who, statistically, who are the majority of the vote Republicans in this nation? Women? Yeah. <gasps> Women oh, do not no. tend to vote Republican most of the time unless they got somebody they really like. Because on social oh, issues. What happens is they just don't vote. They don't vote. I vote. I know. But uh, Republicans are to the right of most women in the Republican Party. Mm -hmm. Sarah Palin is basically because, I mean, the, the, they hate Sarah Palin. The Republicans hate Sarah Palin because she's the embodiment of what they talk about and write about the Republican Party. So they hate her for it. That's the Republicans. And why do the Democrats hate her? Because she's the embodiment of what everything about the Republican Party is. Yeah, so she's, you know, Go you know, I mean, Sarah. I, mean I, I would have loved Hubert Humphrey to be alive today and be able to talk mm -hmm. to Hubert Humphrey and have, have him give his assessment of the Republican Party. I mean, uh, Democrats at least will shoot one another in a circuit, circle. You can't get a Republican to form a circle. Get two Republicans today that can agree on any topic. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and they, well, they said they don't like Obama. Yeah, but they're not going to tell you they don't like him. Because they've been told by the posters, you know, well, if you, he's got a likability, and people will probably put him back in office because they like him, even though they don't like what he's done in the country. They like him. I have nothing to do. I understand Obama is a great father. That's not a reason to put a guy in the office of the presidency because he's a great father. Then like Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter was a nice guy. He was a bad president. Barack Obama has got a, he's got a god awful mean streak. I mean, I would not want to come up, have Obama come up behind me in the middle of a night in an alley in Chicago. It had nothing to do with him being black. I'm a minority too. I just don't think I'd be safe walking in front of that man in an alley. Because this is the guy that says, you know, uh, that, you know, that we won the election, you go to the back of the bus, which is racist. This is the guy who said that, you know, uh, we're going to have a fight. They bring a, a knife, we bring a you know, a, a, a butcher knife. They bring a pistol, we bring a shotgun. They bring a shotgun, we bring a machine gun. They bring a machine gun, we bring a howitzer. Mm -hmm. That is Chicago politics. I, my family is from, part of my family was from Cicero, Illinois. That's where my mother came from. It's from Cicero. I mean, God, have, I know how they are there. I mean, I, I guarantee you, I can run a typical Chicago voter and beat Obama. Mm -hmm. A typical Chicago voter. And you know what a typical Chicago voter is? Mm -hmm. This guy hasn't voted in a hundred years. Mm -hmm. and the reason why he hasn't voted in a hundred years is because he's his name on a tombstone. Mm -hmm. I can go to any any graveyard in Chicago, pick out a candidate, and that candidate could beat Obama. That candidate could beat because he has no record. Right. He didn't vote good or bad. That's right. He wow. has no record of voting. He passes. I don't think there's anything that says you've got to be alive. I can run Monty against him. And they say, well, there was a time when I said you couldn't run Monty because they basically, you know, the, the, now they're letting people that aren't citizens of our country well, vote in national elections. You're supposed to be over 35 years old. Actually, Monty I, think, is. I think you're supposed to be you're over 35 years old and you're an American citizen. Although they forget about that last part. They don't care about the last part anymore. I mean, Monty is, we have a certificate that says Monty is, is in doggy years over 35 and that she has, and she was born in this country. That's right. And Monty basically has no record to run on. Ah. So you basically, and Monty basically, is, Monty's cute. She has a likability quotient. Monty can be, like every other politician, Monty can be bought. Hmm. You give her doggy treats and she'll she'll switch sides in a second. Uh-huh. I know you can't buy her for money, but you can for doggy treats. She hmm. has her she has like all politicians, if you elect Monty to office, I guarantee Monty will screw you just as quickly as she sends her puts her paw up near and goes Rawr. So, I mean, as soon as somebody else comes by with a bigger bone. Yeah, but see, Monty's only going to clip you for bones. We got well, you know, she's got a short-term memory because it doesn't have to be, get, be a bigger bone. Uh, All she has is finish the bone and there's another bone. Then, yeah. I, Monty will flat out will leave the bone she has for a bigger bone. Mm -hmm. 
she, she basically had a really short term memory. I mean, she'd make a great politician because you offer one of, I mean, the, we're going to go back to Mark Twain. Mark Twain says we have the best government that, uh, that money will buy. <laughs> Because every politician forgets we have, I mean, look, look at realistic, I'm watching on this vote to get the Democrats to say they raised the debt ceiling without any cuts. They did? They, they, they had a vote on it, and they, uh, basically it didn't pass, but a hundred Democrats voted to raise the debt ceiling. But um, the problem was there were 35 Tea Party members that voted to raise the debt ceiling without, the, uh, without any cuts, and they were talked to real quickly before the vote was over and they switched their vote. Mm. Meaning, we're going to kick your butts out. This is, what's, this is why, this going, uh, my guess is you're going to see the first viable third party candidate in our nation's history since Teddy Roosevelt. Because the people don't want the Republicans. There's nobody on the Republican side that anybody likes. I mean, they're talking about running Jeb Bush. For Christ's sake, they don't like the Bush family. Well, you know, see, it was anything but Bush, now it's anything but Obama, so now Bush has a chance. Mm -hmm. He's Jeb Bush. He's a Bush. They don't want, they do not, the press hates the Bushes. Yeah, but here's the Democrats the Bush, hate given the Bushes. Give it an Obama or a Bush. Well, the Bush press doesn't really, I mean, um, no, we want, to, we want to be a factual thing. The news editors love this president. The people that are in the trenches are totally detesting. Mm -hmm. you know, but see, it's the Obama you know versus the Bush you don't. I know. You know, everybody knows that Bush has been out of politics for a while. He's got, he's also got a Latin wife and his son speaks, his son is really great looking and he speaks fluent Spanish, which means they've locked up. Remember, George Bush and Ronald Reagan won the Latin vote. Mm -hmm. uh, Bush spoke fluent Latin, for, for, for Spanish. Three, Spanish, and so did Ronald Reagan. They locked it up. And it had nothing to do, okay, uh, everyone will know that Strategically, the Latin vote is actually a Republican vote because they have the same moral, you know, they said they, they don't like gay marriages. They want the Yeah, but a lot of times it goes to the Democratic vote because of social welfare. It, they and social programs. Ah, the, uh, the, the average the people, that the, the American citizens don't like social, but don't like the social programs. Well, they do work hard. I know, because they work their ass off. They work, you know, they work, they don't... Uh, okay, what happens is, is the illegals, there are two different types. The illegals are not supposed to vote. And Obama is currently pissed because the Supreme Court has said, you've got to prove that you're, that you're a citizen to get a job in this country now. <laughs> you don't have to prove you're a citizen to vote. Well, he's basically, the court's going to side. If they said you have to be a citizen to get a job, you're going to have to be a citizen to vote. That's going to be, the court's going to rule on it, he's going to lose that issue. Which means they're going to lose 30% of the voters that they're counting on for his election. And still, with losing 30% of the possible voters, Obama still is leading any of the Republican candidates. Of course, he doesn't, he loses against the unnamed Republican. Hmm. He loses badly against the unnamed Republican. It's, you know, it's because it's, they're also doing any Republican but the guys that are running. Because they're mean. Does anybody... Well, you know, vote? here's part of it is, when they go and vote, I don't know about you, but you probably don't want to be preached to. Yeah. Right? You don't want to be told how you should eat. Yeah. Right? Right. You don't want to be told what... How you, well, actually, how you should live your life. You don't want to be right? told that you can't use your cell phones, you can't use the internet, you can't watch television, you, you can't have the 4th of July, you can't drive your right? car. You don't want them to tell you all these things you can't do. You want them to probably stay out of your business, yeah. right? So you can function, do things, have a somewhat stable, and you can you know, create your own American dream. Yeah, so you understand it's, in, it's theoretically impossible for Obama to win election. It, theoretically. Because when they tell people that these are the things he supports, uh, they don't like this man. I mean, this man basically wants to shut down McDonald's. This man I wants know. to shut down all the fast food. How is he doing my cell phone? This man is partly responsible for... The french fries, for, the pizza. We, we got... We got companies that are headquartered in California Salt. that are leaving the state because of the Obama Obama attacks on fast. He's got a Democratic governor and a Democratic House of Senate, so they're pushing Obama initially through to basically kill the fast food industry with fast food people like Carl Karsher headquartered out here. Yeah, that's also Hardy's folks. We have Denny's that used to be headquartered here. We got a lot of things that were headquartered here that he basically wants to destroy. He wants to put. 
Uh, he, won't, he said, I, it's all right if you sell fast foods as long as they're, they're fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. He wants to tell you that, he, he, by flat out, no longer has a food thing. If you should eat so much of something, he now has a designer plate that says you must. It doesn't say you should, it says you must eat. Mm -hmm. Must. There's a difference between should and must. The guy is basically ordering health and health examinations for people. He's got deaths, you know, you know, he's got, you know, death or, you know, whatever it is. You know, you've got to have a death spot. You basically go in. They're going to tell you, die. You know, like, there's the Republicans are saying, die, just die. No. The Democrats are, are basically have a thing that they said wasn't in the deal, that they took out that wasn't in the deal, and they put back into it after it was passed. Mm -hmm. Those were all those blank spaces in the program that said, basically, they're going to have a, a death counseling thing to tell you that, it might be better on you and society and your family if you just died. Mm. Yeah, that's that's our health care. Then they then another one. Well, we can't really tell you how much it's going to cost. We're going to have to implement it first. Then we'll know how much it cost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Try telling that to. Oh yeah. If you were going to go buy a car, try telling that to somebody else that's paid for it. Yeah. You know. And you go pick it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I like a new car, but um, I don't know how much it is, and I'll tell you how much you you owe on it after I buy it. Yeah. 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 I, I, and again, you can tell, too, how this president works. If you're an area that's heavily democratic in nature, he tends to go there for a natural disaster, and they tend to get all kinds of things. If you're an area that happened to be largely Republican, blow the damn levy up and flood their businesses out. And just ask him, oh, Nashville? Yeah. Uh, lots of parts of Mississippi and Louisiana. He flooded the Republican farmers out of existence. Did he? he in Cairo, Illinois, he flooded the far Republican farmers out of existence. In Missouri, he saved Cairo by flooding the Republican farmers out of existence. And Cairo is? It's all heavily Democratic. Mm -hmm. So uh, every place there was a Democratic stronghold, the levees were blown to save that area. It didn't save